In this video, you will see how to connect FTP accounts with your cPanel file manager. So if you want to download a large file from your file manager on the cPanel or if you want to upload a large file or sometimes you do not want to log in to your cPanel and want to just upload or download some files. In that case, you can use the FTP accounts. Using the FTP accounts, you can download and upload any files located in that folder in this folder you can see here this is the public underscore html folder the root directory of any website so for this what do you need to do we need to create a ftp account so if we go to ftp accounts we need to create a ftp account otherwise what you can do we can use the special FTP accounts. So normally the special FTP accounts are uh, the default accounts created by the hosting. All the hosting accounts have some special FTP accounts. So you can use that account or otherwise you can create a new account. So in our case, we will create a new FTP account. So let me create a FTP account. The FTP account will be test at the domain name. And the password let me create a password i'm creating a password for the ftp account so now the directory so we want to access the root directory so we do not want to create any other directory here for this ftp account we, we want to access all the files and folders i will uh, access the root directory so I am deleting this and create a FTP account. So FTP account is now created. You can see here the test FTP account is created. So how to log in to this uh, FTP account? So for this, we will download a software called FileZilla. FileZilla client. So you can use some other softwares for FTP connection but FileZilla is good so far I am using this so download this file this is 10 MB file so install the file start FileZilla now so FileZilla is started so what we will do let's try the quick connect to connect with the FTP account, we need to find the IP address of the server. So if we go to our cPanel here, you will find a IP here. Just copy the IP and open your FileZilla. Type the IP on the host and the username. Let me put the username I have created with test and the domain name and the password password for the port the default port is 21 for almost all the connections so now if we click quick connect we'll get a insecure FTP connection you can just click on ok and here on the right side you can see all the files so here the folder this is the public underscore HTML folder this folder is our root directory for the website so we can download any files from here like if I want to download this file wp-config I can just click on it and download so this is downloaded and the folder file will be downloaded on your documents uh, folder on your computer you can see here wp-config underscore php this file is located under documents folder you can change the path if you want if you want to or download all the folders to the desktop you can just select the desktop from here and I can download it again download download it and if I go to my desktop I can see that this file is here so when you have a large file to upload or you want to back up your whole site like manually like if you want to go to file manager and public underscore html what you can do you can just select all the files here and 
compress compress in a zip folder and all the files of your site will be zip you can just download the zip file on, on your computer to make a backup so this is helpful for uploading and downloading large file and this is also for security you don't need to log in uh, to the cpanel again and again you can just upload any files from here or download any files if you want to know how to backup the whole website manually with the database please watch the video i have on my channel you will find the link on the description thank you for watching